So the next topic I will discuss sequences. So a sequence is nothing but it is a database object. The purpose of uh, sequence is uh, to auto generate uh, numbers for primary key columns. So the concept the uh, database object sequence is uh, very useful when you want to generate some uh, unique numbers automatically. Just you consider a small example. Just I will show it. Just imagine we have one table called product. So in the product table, just have some numbers, just have columns like ID of the product, name of the product, name of the product, and cost of the product. Okay. So once table product table is created, and for ID column, you need not to insert any data. Okay, automatically the values will be taken from the keyboard. Just you think of some online uh, orders, online reservations. Okay, so when you are making some online reservations or online orders, so just you are going to supply your uh, information. That's all. Your name, identity, your age, qualification, etc. Those things you are going to supply. But automatically a number will be generated by the system. Okay, so in order to generate numbers by system, we are going to make use of database objects concept called sequences in the Oracle. The purpose of sequence is to auto generate numbers for primary key columns. The purpose is to generate the numbers. Suppose uh, in a supermarket, they are going to maintain one table called product. Just imagine, so in the supermarket, some one lakh products are there. So manually giving product numbers for each and every number means it is difficult, somewhat difficult. Okay, instead of that, so the numbers can be automized. So the numbers can be taken from a sequence. So if you are giving numbers manually, means sometimes we may be we may be uh, we may not be maintaining the sequence exact sequence. We are unable to maintain. Okay, like uh, after insertion of one, next two, next three. So that like that sequence we cannot maintain properly. Okay, so instead of that, uh, so to maintain the sequence, to maintain the numbers properly. So we are going to make use of sequences. Okay. So sequence is nothing but it is a database object whose duty is to supply numbers, to supply numbers to primary key columns like product table. And any table, not only product table, any table. Suppose online orders, online orders table is there. So for online orders table, so some ID is there or transaction ID, transaction ID, name is there. And something like address, and the name and address we can collect from the uh, client uh, customer. So for uh, transaction ID, automatically you can take value from uh, sequence. Means uh, the purpose of sequence is to supply unique numbers for a primary key column. Okay. So once a sequence is created, that can be used for any number of times. But at the time of creating sequence, we have to specify some options. What are the options we have to specify? The first option is what? Just like. Uh, the sequence name and uh, what is the starting value and what is the ending value and what is the difference between two numbers okay that is that becomes interval and uh, two options uh, are needed for uh, cycle or cycle or no cycle cash option or no caption so the cycle option cash option i will discuss in the example just uh, have a look just i will uh, tell the example so syntax for creating a new sequence is create Sequence, sequence name is, let us say, okay, this is, it is a syntax now, just I will write, create sequence, sequence name, start with option, start with n, <coughs> increment by Increment by n max value no max value any option you can write the next option is cycle no cycle cycle no cycle and cash n or no cash or cash n this you can specify okay just you have a look here create sequence sequence name 
you can specify any name in the place of sequence name because this is completely user defined name start with n so any number you can specify as a initial value starting value increment by increment by means what should be the difference between two subsequent numbers of the sequence start with start uh, increment by n max value that means up to which number you want to generate sequence numbers this becomes max value and cycle or no cycle so if you specify cycle option what happens here the sequence will be repeated the sequence will be repeated for more than one time so if you specify no cycle option what happens here once it is going to generate numbers from starting value to ending value then it will be stopped so if you specify cycle option continuously it will be generating the numbers and cash option is going to indicate the number of uh, uh, unique numbers how many you want to keep in the memory just for fast accessing so this is going to indicate the number of numbers which you are going to put in the cache memory just for improving the performance of the application so if you are not specifying cache option what happens every time the numbers are collected from the store, uh, which one so, uh, sequence only so if you specify cache option every time it is going to collect the values from cache memory so that what happens here the application performance is increased okay so once again i will repeat this create sequence sequence name start with so what is the starting value increment by n so increment by n means you can uh, write any number cash or no uh, cash uh, max value no max value so if you specify max value what happens here up to the maximum value it is going to generate the numbers the next option is cycle option so when you specify cycle option what happens here so once the sequence numbers are generated automatically the cyclic the uh, same sequence will be repeated and the cache indicates how many numbers you want to keep in the cache memory every time so that what happens here the application performance is reduced because it will be fetching numbers from cache memory not from sequence okay just i will write one small example just you have a look create sequence so i want to create a sequence for product table that is why i am giving the name as prod sequence prod sequence start with so i want to started i want to start with my sequence from 1 increment by increment by 1 the next option is max value max value so up to 1000 i want to generate the numbers so next option i am specifying as cycle cycle means once it is going to generate numbers from 1 to 1000 the same process will be continued again it is going to generate sequence numbers from 1 to 1000 and uh, next option i am going to specify as cache five that means every time five numbers are ready in the cache memory so that the application performance is increased okay so this is a example create sequence prod sequence start with one increment by one max value 1000 cycle option i have given cash file so at the end of this just you put a semicolon okay create sequence sequence name is prod sequence start with one increment by one max value 1000 cycle is cycle cash five okay just i will show this practically just you have a look so next uh, once uh, a sequence is uh, created so how you can insert values into table by using the sequence just you have a look so just you imagine here we have a table called product so in the product table i have id of the product name of the product and cost of the product okay just you look at this insert into the table name is product table name is product values so first value of the product table is id second value is name third value is cost okay so first value id it can be given from sequence so so to take values from keyboard uh, sorry sequence 
just you specify the sequence name so what is the sequence name here prod sequence dot next value this uh, these two are the these next values are reserved so these also called as a uh, call as pseudo column pseudo column so next value is going to pick up one value from sequence prod sequence is the sequence name prod sequence dot next value comma the next uh, uh, field of uh, product table is i am percent what name name next item is i am percent cost okay once again i will explain this insert into product values so first value i want to take from sequence just for the sake of product table only i have created this prod sequence so as a first value just you specify prod sequence dot next value next value is a pseudo column okay so which is going to insert first value into sequence prod sequence after first value from next time onwards one will be incremented prod sequence dot next value next value any x t next value for uh, this product table is i'm percent name i'm percent cost so these are the values to be inserted into columns that means here using two columns what are the two columns here one is next value prod sequence dot next value comma prod sequence dot current value using this two pseudo code columns you can have next number and current value so this is going to give what next value next value next value of the sequence now this is going to give what current value current value of the sequence okay using these two columns you can uh, know what is the next value and what is the current value of the sequence just i will show it practically live execution just product it is not there just i will create create table product columns are id number uh, for this i will give primary key primary key next one is next column is name column name character 10 next uh, next uh, is cost number 7 comma 2 table created so after creating table i will create sequence also i will create sequence create sequence sequence name is prod sequence mm, start with one <coughs> increment by one max value this thousand comma what i specified over there no cycle 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 cash cash memory five sequence created okay now table name is product sequence name is prod sequence <coughs> just you insert the values into product table using sequence insert into product values so uh, the first value to be inserted into the product table is uh, primary key value which is which can be inserted from sequence prod sequence dot next val name name next cost see directly a value has taken from sequence that is why it, it is not asking any value for id column directly it is asking uh, for name column 
so name for name call i am giving like mobile cost is 40000 huh? you can give 40000 one row created okay so once again i will execute same query same insert command laptop cost is 40000 just you look at the information select star from product two values are inserted i did not give any values for id column automatically the values i has taken from sequence okay so this is what uh, insertion of sequence values into primary key uh, primary key column so the next uh, you can uh, alter the sequence also to alter the sequence just you give alter sequence sequence name is prod sequence so instead of giving uh, increment by option increment by 1 i will change the option to 2 increment by 2 sequence altered okay now i will insert one value see what happens <coughs> pen cost is 1000 Just have a look. Select star from product. See, after insertion of two, next four is inserted because I have given, uh, I have changed the increment by increment by option to two. That is why every time the difference between two subsequent numbers will be two. Okay, like this you can change sequence options. Here I have changed the sequence option increment by previously it was. increment by 1 so using alter command i have changed it to by 2 so that every time only uh, with two numbers gap the inside the rows will be inserted okay so this is about alter sequence command so you can drop a sequence by using drop command drop sequence sequence name prod sequence like this sequence dropped so once a sequence is dropped means you cannot have you cannot have any unique values primary key values from sequence okay so this is regarding sequence sequence is nothing but it is a number generator whose duty is to supply numbers to a primary key column so instead of giving values manually you can take values from sequence so that what happens here a specific order is maintained okay a specific order is maintained so sequence also it is one kind of db object okay just you have a look